This is the Aten, the ten, the structure of the ten dimensions. Now, reality is the objective aspect of mind, that all the physical laws and all the physical events we see follow the structure of the ten dimensions. You know, the ten dimensions are the creation. All physics happens within the ten dimensions. All psychology, all our minds, all our lives, all our experiences happen within the ten dimensions. This is why physics concerns our lives and why psychology and the nature of mind is fundamental. This is the internal structure of our minds, the differentiation of our senses into the ten dimensions. So it's our internal integration, our internal functioning, and it's our relationship with each other. So the structure of our society follows the atom, the ten dimensions. Same structure as the physics, the psychology, so does our sociology, and so does our future, so does our social organization follow this structure. The ten dimensions, the main thing about the ten dimensions is that one is built upon the other. You know, it's like a stack of blocks. So we have a point, which is zero dimension, and the point moves and we get a line, a straight, well, what should be a straight line. The first dimension. And then the, the line moves at right angles and you get a plane, the second dimension. The face. The two dimensions moves at right angles and you get the third dimension. space. The third dimension moves and we get time. We get the fourth dimension. See that's a clock. The fourth dimension moves and we move through time and we get the observer, the fifth dimension. The observer moves and comes under pressure the sixth dimension. The pressure falls into different objects, different shapes, different volumes. Don't get mixed up with the three dimensions, different objects. See these are the angles of which is the seventh dimension. Seventh dimension the objects move and that movement is their energy level. And that energy level, the eighth dimension, determines where they are here and now, in the present moment, in the ninth dimension, where they come to rest. In the internal psychology, we see the Isakar entoptic, the breast entoptic, you know, as a breast. The, the mind focuses in on a point and focuses out to create the circle, which is what the child sees and seeks in the breast. So the focus is on the breast for the males and the females. The signal moves and we get a line, which basically we see in movement. This becomes the, the left hemisphere where we can see our conscience, the consequences of actions. We see that by moving the, under the intent, what it's drawing, what, which shape it's going, and against that we have the, the surface, the, the second dimension, the plane. The screen. And there we have the eye, the fifth dimension, the observer, is seeing that on the screen of the mind, 
objects moving and see seeing that that that, 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 that their patterns their surfaces so we, we and this is the video signal we see things moving and we identify them by their speed and by the pattern on the surface this, that that is the differential and that is the integral so that we see so there we have the top triangle that movement from place to place creates this illusion if you like of the three dimensions of space which gives us the idea of water being fluid the wave what was a photon becomes a wave and that enduring wave becomes a sound the, the wave, the water, we test by smell we identify the space by its smell the sense of smell the, the, the enduring wave becomes a sound which we hear so we identify also, we recognize that shape, that space by its sound, by its, by its echo so we see its dimensions by its echo and identify it through its smell and that space-time comes down here to the energy in the audio signal the audio signal which is in relativity, space, time and energy, the, the relativity and then we come down to the pressure the sixth dimension the seventh dimension is shape and then the being in the position, moving objects around in the position Um, th this object we identify as touch we identify it by taste so we feel it by touch we identify the shape by its taste we stick it in our mouth and taste it because basically we're looking for food in this bottom triangle and there it's in its certain position you know the kinesthetic sense the posture its orientation so this is how you get this, you know, the sense, sensory differentiation now each of those senses each of these dimensions becomes a brain area and the senses are the input of energy into that brain area and the output is the personality by which we relate to each other so there we have like a secretary function we have the group itself and there we have the, 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 the conscience coming in are seeing the consequences of action the future, future course of the movement of an object here we have the, you know, basically reading faces our intuition you know, our intuition recognizing what object is, is which really but basically reading faces seeing behind the, in the screen seeing the intent See, seeing the you know the ulterior motive, the the ulterior arrangement of the abstract. This is the abstract. This is the video signal. This is the audio signal. This is the pressure signal under the touch. Here we have the input of the smell, and that makes it diplomatic about the smell here we have the sounds so that makes us official you know being a control freak, freak being submissive being dominant in our voice it's speaking with authority to bully people and believing nonsense there we have the observer and the observer is the personality coming out but really the observer is observing this can be can be quite aloof or it can be superior superior here we have the the touch so we have the gentleman someone who's gentle when he's touched the gardener someone who's gentle with things germinating somebody somebody who can you know who's, who's got feelings here we have the the, the taste so we have the scholar which is somebody who knows all the, all the facts and things the scholar the different tastes refined taste, a sophisticated taste, this is all the catalogue of tastes and then there we have the, the hunter, the heat the heat seeking, the hunter the sexual desire 
the energy. And here we have the position, the, the kata, the position for work, the posture, for you know, the readiness for action. And this is how we relate to each other. So the same structure for the physics, the psychology, for our sociology, and for our functioning together. The atom is very important. The key for education.